Hello and welcome to another outdoor video blog. You can only find me at quarter past four in the morning. And I'm in Tallinn in Estonia. I'm in Sin. Ramstein. So yeah, your eyes don't deceive you. This far north in Europe, if you're watching this and uh, have never been to this part of the world, it's um, pretty light at quarter past four in the morning at this time of year. Sun does set, but it's only you know, about an hour and a half, two hours this time of year. But, um, yeah, it's a lovely place. The weather's been outstanding every day. Like it's been unbelievable. So I just want to talk about the Ramstein gig, um, which was at uh, an amazing venue, about two kilometres along the uh, coast here, and uh, walkable from the hotel. It was amazing. I mean, the sound, that's the best outdoor sound I've ever heard in my life. It was absolutely incredible. They had all these speaker towers dotted around this theatre. It looked like, um, the venue looked like a an old um, Olympic kind of ski jump place or something. It was on a hill and there was like a, I'll apologise for the wind noise now if there is any. It's only a breeze but it is here. I'm walking down towards the docks here. Uh, yeah, old, I think it was a slap. It, it looked like it was an old ski jump venue from the like, Winter Olympics in the past or something. Amazing place. They had these big speaker towers dotted around the field, and uh, you know, with modern technology and that, modern speakers, it was absolutely immense. The bottom that's the first gig I've ever been to in my life where I could say I could hear everything. And, uh, and Ramstein, you know, that's a big, heavy sound. You could hear the bottom end, the, the low end guitars, you could hear old Till's voice, of course, which is probably the lowest thing of the lot, but uh. Yeah, and then the, the other end of the scale, you know, you could hear the keyboards and all the little key sounds. It was incredible. It's absolutely amazing. I'm actually waiting for a taxi at the moment, so I'd better not stray too far away. The sort of docks... The docks are sort of behind me there somewhere in the area. You can't really see the old town. If you ever come to Tallinn, and that is an amazing venue. Well, if you just come to Tallinn just to sightsee, um, it, what the old town is probably one of the most picturesque, beautiful places I've ever been in my life. And the people here are amazing. So laid back and that. Fantastic. Anyway, Ramstein. There was people... Yeah, I'll again, we're getting a bit of wind noise here now. I'll turn around. Well, I'll, I'll go back towards the hotel, that's the best thing. There was people of all ages there, you know, and, and from all different countries as well. Because here, we're on the Baltic coast, North East Europe. You know, everybody sort of supports everybody else, and you can travel here, train. But there's loads of ferries from, like, you know, we caught a ferry from Finland, like, you know. There was loads on that. It's, it's amazing. It's um, different world whereas in Britain we just cut ourselves off after Brexit which is absolute as I've said before in another vlog absolute lunacy cutting yourself off from Europe so um, enough of that so yeah Ramstein there uh, it was an amazing show it's an amazing amazing uh, an amazing setup the, what the staging was like an, an post apocalyptic kind of industrial thing just going to change my hands here. Apologies. It was absolutely amazing. What a fire and smoke going up into the air and incredible light. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say at this point in time that's the best gig I've ever been to, both sound-wise and visually. And the band were awesome. But, um, and 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 as ever with Ramstein, and you know. The, they're pushing your buttons, your emotional buttons, and that way. They're very unique like that. Yeah. I said to Steve, like, you know, you, you'll have a band like Rush, which is like a more cerebral kind of affair, really. It's your thinking in that way. Uh, Ramstein, get, you, get you, you poke, they poke at your emotions and play with your head a little bit, like, and it makes them different. 
But the brilliant thing is that the fans get it. The fans get it. They know they're decent guys and all the rest of it. They've had, you know, maybe a tough upbringing and all that kind of thing in, in East Germany and the rest of it. But they know they're decent guys. They're nice guys. They're doing it for the right reasons. And, uh, you know, the fans, despite all that kind of music that, you know, it can be overwhelming, the fans just so happy and, uh, you know, genial afterwards like you know, it's unique if you've never seen Ramstein live and uh, and you're thinking oh it's not my kind of thing I would still say check them out because um, the actual staging alone is phenomenal so, so it's been a good do here in, uh, in Tallinn and Estonia and it just remains for me to say stay well keep well and I'll catch you all later guys bye